Okay, for those of you who are as challenged as I am when it comes to coding and programming, there's some hope for us all out there still. If you love Jitsi, this is how you could do a couple of modifications, modifying the URL that you send out to people. So you have quite a bit of control with that. I'm showing you a few examples, um, but there's many, many more. I'm going to just give you the sort of principles that you use with it and explain what I use it for uh, probably most of the time. I use two or three of these parameters uh, most of the time. And uh, my case scenario is I've got a website. So on the website, I create a whole lot of rooms and I, I initially used to use a plugin on my website, but then it became a bit convoluted. So I try to keep it simple, just modifying the URL. And that's where I kind of looked and researched to find this information. So Jitsi, can send a link and have a modified URL. Again, this works on the public domain. I'm not sure if it works on a hosted server. I would assume it should, but the configuration looks something like this. And let me just cover these three points first that if you use this uh, config instruction in the URL, just make sure that the very first one you use, um, so you have the normal meet.jit.si forward slash and the name of your room. And then the very first config you put in there to modify the parameters, you will have a hash in front of it. Okay, so it will be hash config dot and then whichever modifier. Um, if you're going to have, after this modifier, you want to have another one, then you have to put an ampersand in between, not a hash. So it will be ampersand and I'll show it on the next slide ampersand and then you can go again config dot and whichever other modifier and you can use multiple ones so there's no limit to how many you can use there okay so there you see i'm putting meet.jit.si forward slash um, your name hash config dot the modifier and then ampersand config dot and the next modifier okay which modifier comes first is irrelevant it's just that the very first one is initiated with the, the hash as far as that goes. So I'm going to just show you a couple here. And I've kind of tried to give a bit of explanation, but um, in the video, I'm going to put at the bottom of the video in the description, I'll put all of these modifiers that I know, but there's pretty much more of them. This is the case scenario, and this is what I use it quite often for. So let's assume that we're going to call the room My Jitsi 101. That's the name of the room. And when we open the mobile device, it must skip the option to join via app or web. Um, if you use this additional modification and they go onto a desktop computer, it doesn't do anything. It just ignores it. Okay, so you can include it as a safety if they do use their mobile device. Secondly, we want to skip the pre-join page. And thirdly, we want to start with the video and audio off. Okay, here at the bottom I've got, let's put the video and audio on. All I've done is change the last two configurations. So this here is exactly the same like this, except here this last parameter says da-da-da, true, and here I've just put false. Here it says da-da-da-da-da, true, and here I've just said false. Um, okay, so what I'm going to go through is that's the room, uh, configure, disable deep linking is true, so I don't want to see that pop-up page. And that you'll only see on the mobile device and configure pre-join page enabled. It must be false. I don't want to see the pre-join page. Um, configure start with muted uh, video is true. So my video is going to be muted and my audio is going to be muted. So I'll just copy this. Uh, let's go and copy that. And I'm going to open a browser page and just paste this in here. Okay. So let me just... So there we are, we've got the meet Jitsi uh, forward slash my Jitsi 101, then the hash dots config, and there's all the stuff over here. Okay, so what we expect now is to go straight into the meeting with our video and audio off. So if you send this to one of your uh, people for meetings, they will get this link, click on it, and this is how they'll experience it straight into the mobile device and on the desktop. So if I go, there we're going to go, boom. Okay, there we are right into the meeting. Can you see that? Video and audio muted. Isn't that brilliant? Okay, and here again, for those of you who haven't seen, we've got our nice little interface and everything concise here. Really love the, the way the developers have put these things together. And they're working on making more and more improvements as time goes on. 
Um, okay, so this is with those two off. And let me just put this down. I'm going to go and close off with taking this one. And it will do exactly the same. Okay, it's going to do exactly the same. But in this case, um, in this case, our start with audio muted is false. So our audio is going to be on and our video is going to be on. Okay, so if I click this now, the video and audio will be on. There we go. Video and audio on. And here is my uh, OBS camera that's pulling through here. So that's fantastic, folk. Um, that's how it works. Uh, what I'm going to do is also just show you, um, I'm going to connect up my, my phone. Okay, so I've set up these three uh, links. One is the normal link that you get. The bottom one, I'm going to click that one first and you'll see what people have to meet up with. So they'll come to this page where you're going to make selection. Do I want to download the app or go via web? Uh, and say they say web, they're still going to land on the pre-joined page. So if they click on there, it's still pre-joined page and they've got to fill in. Now, if you want them to fill in their details, of course, you you don't remove the pre-joined page. And then once they fill that, it's in here. But if you wanted to make it one seamless process, just one click, then um, there are those two other links that I shared here on the desktop one. But this is on the mobile. So the top one is going to be video and audio off. And we'll skip those two pages. So if we go there and do that tap, there we go. We're right into the meeting. One tap, right in, audio, video, muted. Isn't that cool? And that's all that's embedded in that uh, URL. So the second one, audio and video on, skip pre-join and skip the web page uh, request thing. Tap on there. Let's see how that goes. Boom, in the meeting. That's it. There's my webcam on and my audio is on. Unmuted, unmuted. Okay, so it's all up to you how you want to configure it for, for your users, especially for people who are on mobiles. This is just a dream for me because every time they went to like one screen and another screen and, you know, had all the queries, now it's pretty much one click there in the meeting. Fantastic. So yeah, for those of you who are excited about at least customizing parts of your experience with your um, people, you can enjoy and use the URLs to your arts content. So the list is below in the description. And then also um, just check around. There probably are some nice other fancy ones. If I get some really cool ones, I'll probably just include them in the list at the bottom. I'll just add them further down there underneath this video. Great stuff. Have a fantastic day and shalom.